In this video, I am going to show you how to set up your Honda four-wheeler to start while it's in gear. Just like that. So this four-wheeler is a Honda Foreman ES. It's a 450, it's a 2003. I believe all Hondas are fairly much similar. Um, originally, I tried to do the hack that I've seen other videos where you uh, you come up here, you pull the CDI box out up there, <clears throat> you cut the wire, um, and I, you can see I did that, and you'll need to do that as well for mine. Hack here, but you just stick your hand in here. Jump bud. Get you. You can see, just pull this guy out, and you gotta kind of fish it through the wires. I've already fished mine through, but you could pull this all the way out here, and now you got easy access to it. So what I did, is I cut that greenish blue wire right there. I was experimenting, that's why there's a butt splice hanging off the side. But you see it's a bluish green color with a red stripe. So I cut that, the other half is right, is this guy right here. And I ran that green wire all the way back to the four wheeler, back to my ground terminal. Uh, excuse my mess here. I don't I have everything pulled out so you can see what I'm doing. But so this green wire comes back to here, right? So I did that. Then I also did the hack where you, you know, in order to do it, you got to cut your blue wire and run that to the ground uh, on the starter solenoid too. But every time I did that, and I went to go start it in gear, this thing would air out and it wouldn't let you shift or anything because it was not reading right with the computer or whatever. And so this, the hack that set, that everybody says would work on it, on all the four wheelers, it didn't work on mine. So what I ended up doing is I ran another line. So I left this one on, cause you need this, this one up to the CDI, that one's gotta stay on. Then I ran another line up to the front and all the way up along the frame here, comes up through here to the handlebars and I ran it to this switch here. So this is my new start switch. This one works when it's in gear or out of gear, it doesn't matter just as long as the key is on. Now I could have hooked it up, took this apart and just used the wires from this switch, but I wanted to keep everything stock on the switch side. You know, I don't, hindsight 2020, I probably would have just taken it apart and reused this switch, but I got this switch, it was cheap, it's waterproof, so you put this on. So I hooked the one wire, one wire runs to the back, the other wire, there's two wires on here, it runs to, the blue and orange striped wire on the ignition. This wire is is hot whenever the four wheeler's on, when you shut the key off, the, uh, whenever the key is on, sorry, whenever you shut the key off, then this wire is no longer hot. This run feeds my winch and then also feeds my new start button. So then back here, this is kind of a, a mess. Um, I cut the wires. These wires used to be hooked up to these two wires right there. I cut them and then I put my own waterproof butts, uh, waterproof connector in. So if I wanted to, I could disconnect these harnesses and plug them together and then it'd be back to stock again. Uh, you don't need to do that. You could just butt splice these together instead. So what I did is I have the white wire on my relays, that is the hot wire that runs to the button. And then um, the black wire just runs to the ground, that's a ground wire. Then the red wire on these relays, this is your, um, I forget what you would call it, but it, this one you, is always being used. It's So if you push the button, it's using the red wire and the blue wire. If you don't push the button, it's using, it's connecting the red wire and the yellow wire. So the red wire I hooked up to the start solenoid. So I just did one red wire to each uh, relay. So the this black wire goes to this one, the red one goes to this one. And then on the blue wire, I did one to the ground and then one to the uh, one to the positive terminal on the battery, so that when you push the button, it will break the connection between the original OEM setup, which would be using uh, these yellow wires. It'll break this connection, and it'll it'll transfer 
the connection from these two wires to the two blue wires and it'll go straight to the battery. So you're basically hooking the solenoid. I keep, sorry, I keep drifting off here. You're hooking the solenoid up directly to the battery, uh, energizing it, essentially is what you're doing. These relays here, I will need, make, you know, tidy up the wires a little bit here, but they will tuck right down underneath here. There's a kind of a pocket underneath this electrical box and they'll fit underneath there and that's where I'll hide all the wires. So I hope this video helps. Um, you can see, I'll show you real quick. I just ran the wires up and then they come down through here and then up to the main, up to the front. You can see that's right there and it wraps around and comes up to here. Uh, pretty simple fix. Just take, took me about five, 10 minutes to do it. Um, love it. It's great. It's fantastic. Just simply hit the button and go. I shut the key off. Nothing happens. Doesn't matter what gear I'm in. Still starts. It doesn't error out. I can still shift the gears. And then I also have it set up so that you can put it in reverse without having to push this little button. And I've got a video on my YouTube channel on how to do that. That is a 30 second hack, super easy to do. Um, with the Honda four wheelers, I know mine in particular, I believe it's on all of them. I could be wrong on that. Um, you cannot shift from first gear to neutral if you're going over two miles an hour, it's a safety feature. So you don't have to worry about ruining your transmission by accident with that uh, hack done by accidentally throwing it in reverse. You'd never get it, never get it into neutral anyways. So if you got any questions, drop a question or drop a comment down below. Um, I'll throw some links in the description, some affiliate links to show you the, the part that I got here. Um, and then the relays as well, they're waterproof relays. I'll just, I'll throw all the links in the description below for you. If you like what you see here, uh, subscribe to the channel and, you know, be updated every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.